Hi, Miss Miller here with Madison. Madison. Today is Friday, April the 3rd, and today's topic is the grocery store. And today's listening story is called At the Grocery Store. So are you ready to get started? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get going. All right. At the Grocery Store. Mr. Depper smiled and waited as he saw Mr. McGregor backing his truck up to the loading dock behind the grocery store. I'm so happy to see you, said Mr. Deppers. My customers have been asking when we would get your delicious vegetables in our produce section. Looks like you have a fine crop this time. Here's my question. Who is happy to see Mr. McGregor? The manager at the store. The manager at the store, Mr. Deppers. Good job. And my next question. Why is he happy to get the vegetables from Mr. McGregor's garden? Because... His vegetables are good. Yeah, his vegetables are really good. His customers have been asking for them. Um, because you can only grow vegetables at certain times of the year when you have a farm if you don't have something called a greenhouse or a hothouse. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. It's when, um, like, it's like a warm, like, it's not like a house. It's, like, it's not like a like, big house like this. It's like a, it's like a little shed, but like. Like you store, it's like you plant the vegetables in there while it it's lets like, them, yeah. It's usually have glass or plastic that sun can shine through, and they have water provided that mists and uh, because plants need sunshine and water to grow, mm -hmm. and it helps them grow during the winter or environments that are not well or going to do well for the plants to grow. All right, moving on. Two young men carried the boxes into the storage and storing, sorting area. Boxes were stacked all around the room. Put those boxes over there with the other fresh produce boys, Mr. Duffers directed. I'm going to find Sam and tell him that Mr. McGregor's vegetables are here. I'm sure he'll want to get those cleaned up and out in the bins as soon as possible. Luke and his dad were at the grocery store. It was his mother's birthday and they were going to make her a special dinner. They had picked out um, the recipe and made a grocery list. Now they were buying the food. Here's my question. Why are Luke and his dad at the grocery store? To get their, to, to get things to make a dinner for their mother's birthday. That's right, for mom's birthday. All right, moving on. As they went down the, the grocery aisles, they selected the meat, rolls, and cake mix and put them into the grocery cart. Next, they went to the produce department. You know what produce means? Produce is when you gather things. Produce is the fresh, fresh food department, like the, where you find potatoes and onions, all the vegetables that are fresh and fruit that is fresh, and that is called the produce section. My friend Sam in, uh, is in charge of this department, said Dad. He keeps lots of fresh vegetables here. Daddy, I have an idea, said Luke. Since Mommy loves vegetables, let's put lots of different kinds of them in our salad. Great idea, Luke, said Dad. Let's look for lettuce first. Here's my question. What does Luke's mother love? Vegetables. Vegetables. That's right. Moving on. Here it is, Luke said. Dad helped him put, pick out a large, fresh head of lettuce. Suddenly, water began spraying all over the vegetables. Look, Daddy, they're giving the lettuce a shower, said Luke. Dad laughed. That's just one of the ways that Sam keeps the vegetables fresh. They put some spinach, radishes, carrots, celery, and some green pepper in the cart. Mommy likes the little tomatoes in her salad, said Luke. So he and Dad picked out a container of cherry tomatoes. Here are some nice looking cucumbers, said Dad. Why don't you put these on the scale and see how much they weigh? Luke placed the bag of cucumbers into the metal pan hanging from the scale, and they weighed just over a pound. Here's my question. What does Luke put on the food scale? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. And remember, we talked in class about scales and how they measure the weight. And so if you have a scale and it go, when it goes down a 
the, the heavier it is. So the further down it goes, the heavier it's going to be. And then um, in the produce department, they have it where uh, on top it gives uh, numbers 1 through 12, and every number is a pound, and the pointer will move up and show you how much it weighs as the pan goes down. All right, moving on. I think I know where these vegetables came from, said Luke. My teacher told us about planting a garden, and she said the farmers grow the vegetables and then sell them to the grocery stores. That's right, Luke, said Dad. In fact, this sign says that these vegetables are from Mr. McGregor's farm. Did she also tell you what plants need to help them grow? She said they need the sun and the rain. She even let us taste some leaves, stems, flowers, roots, and seeds. Now here's my listening question. What had Luke tasted at school? Flowers, seeds, stems, and leaves. Yes. So leaves, stems, flowers, roots, and seeds. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Last part of our story. She did, asked Dad. Can you show me which ones you tasted? Luke thought for a moment, and then he pointed to the lettuce, the carrots, and the celery. We ate broccoli and sunflower seeds, too. Those all sound delicious. We would get some broccoli and sunflower seeds. We're certainly going to have a lot of different vegetables in our salad. Your mom will love it. I will, too, Luke bounced with excitement as he followed Dad to the checkout counter. All right, and that's it for today, right? All right, so on Monday, starting the new week, is gonna we're going to be doing um, a ball about Easter. And I have three special books that I have gotten to read to you guys about Easter and um, Easter-like things. And I'm going to do my story time here on YouTube. So just like where you're listening to me now, I'm going to be doing a video just like this next week, just with the Easter books. And um, so check in there and do that. Looking forward to reading to you some story time books. And I pray that you guys have a great weekend and we will see you on Monday. Okay? All right. Thanks for helping, Maddie. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.